Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a gang killing that was solved nearly 15 years after it happened. It all started on September 22, 2001. 20-year-old Alfred Jimenez de la Garza was driving a car with three passengers on Clinton Street in Indio when he stopped at a red light. Several men who were standing at a 7-Eleven convenience store at the intersection ran up to the vehicle and started throwing bottles and assaulting the men in the car believing the car's occupants to be from a rival gang. The attackers were shouting JT, short for Jackson Terrace, an Indio gang, and throwing gang signs. During the attack, one gang member pulled a gun and fired multiple times into the car. Garza was hit in the torso and back. Another passenger, Robert Navarro, was shot in the leg but survived. Surveillance footage, likely from the 7-Eleven store, showed the three suspects and two other men, Mario Gonzalez and Jorge Suarez, in the moments before the attack. Nearly 15 years later, the gang members have also been identified by some of their own statements and witness accounts. Jackson Terrace gang member Juan Hernandez was already in state prison on an unrelated matter. Juan Hernandez, Frederico Sanchez, Enoch Calderon, and Mario Gonzalez were well documented and active members of Jackson Terrace street gang at the time of the shooting. Calderon was accused of firing the fatal shots. Jackson Terrace, which is estimated to have more than 300 members, is one of the most dangerous gangs in the Coachella Valley. It was one of the most violent, most prolific gangs in Riverside County. The Jackson Terrace gang members await trial.